Hello and welcome to my coding session where I write my application which is Bucket Manager, a user for JavaFX application for managing XML files which are consist of satellite channels information. So yeah, I finally I'm going to proceed progress further with my project. Um, currently I have to do following. Let me just open my main application. Eclipse got some problems. Uh, uh, not sure what happens with my Eclipse. It's basically, Eclipse having troubles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it happens that you do not working properly, but Anyway, this is my application. I'm still, I have a lot of work. But so what I'm actually trying to do today, uh, today I view the following. I write the test case for open XML files and try to actually get hold of a path to the XML which I provide. Let's proceed further. So um, let me just restart my Eclipse because I don't like it that is uh, in such state. Yeah, Eclipse sometimes have not not good behavior and let me just do that. take some time to load my application I mean to load Eclipse uh, let's press it further and let's just try the stuff out yeah it takes some some while to load an application So now just we need to just wait. Mm -hmm. Hope, hopefully it then can show my classes as I expect to, as that I am ex actually expecting to see. All right. So now just. Open my application once again. I hope, as I said earlier, I hope sincerely that it won't show me the strange errors because I do not have any errors. It was actually Eclipse bug, the bug in the tool itself, which not nice. And you see, now all now the Eclipse show no no bugs. And I actually can run the application. So, yeah, it takes some while to get it running. But it should pretty, pretty. What actually happening? I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it is always memory dependent. It's it's all after all Java. But it works. I can load my application. So this is what goes like this. Now, let me do the next step. So. I need to go to my view tests and start to, to work from these uh, tests because, as I said earlier, I am writing test driven development. So, this is my main view test, and I think actually not to 
yeah, a lot of code. I'm thinking just to to yeah, it's too many too many lines. So code's pretty overcrowded, and I I don't like it. And let me just quickly run it. So I'm not. Sh I will. Sh I will be sure that it's all functioning. Okay. So it pretty. Yeah, definitely works. Um. Now the next move is to do following. I need to write another view test um, and what kind of name I should use for this kind of test. This is definitely a JUnit test case and I am testing so I clicking on the main view and I am testing open file dialogs open file dialogs many because I have many so um, open open file from menu test open files open files I have many files actually open files from menu test so what I need to do I have this class and I need just to use the, the stuff And let me just quickly copy the stuff. Okay, main view, extract title. Mm, iterate over menus, I don't need this. I don't need to iterate over menus. So, and I think this test should probably basically work for me. Okay, so I need to write some tests. Let me stage to front stage. Okay, say that set title title. Okay, 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 okay. Nice and. And the first test will be like this because I need to make sure that I am actually working with a real object. This is one of my preconditions and let me just quickly do that. Yeah. So So what I need to do Test void test click click on menu main menu uh, file open file open open file open file so my expectation like this I need let me just write some comments so I click uh, user user clicks on on main menu on it go no user go to main menu and clicks on file open file open file so and what kind of stuff I need to do
I'm looking for the click operation. Click, click on, info, like, okay. So now I need to do following. I need to open Scene Builder with my main menu because I'm not sure that I know how I call my stuff. Controllers, main menu, not this. Okay, so main form XML. Open with Scene Builder. Okay. So the user the user have to click on menu file menu file and I'm call it menu file So clicks on main menu and clicks on open file And clicks on open file menu file. I think menu save no open. Yeah. All right, so file open menu, and then I expect to see a window, a dialog window appears pretty obvious stuff uh, but it's not should be taken easily because I need later later then I need to calculate how much did I open all I need to open three times this window so user clicks on open New dialog, it appears one time, then appears next time, and the last time. Three times. But the, the first test always should be always e easy one. And then I need to make verify that is is visible. Let me just look it up. look it up in my other test because sometimes I forget uh, okay where I have my yeah I will use it like this and basically I think it should have point and It should have let me think about verify that yeah you see like here like alert but in my in my case it is uh, so where is my primer Jeff Primer open file example. So here it is. And here I just need to, yeah, file chooser. No, 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 no. Multiple button. Uh, this is actually event which I need to, to show late. Uh, and what I actually I ex file chooser so it's file chooser file chooser I think this will be appropriate so let's just do this code click on menu file 
uh, open file. Pretty simple test. Uh, I hope it will work. I mean, it, but it, it shouldn't it shouldn't work because I didn't implement it the stuff with a file chooser. But this is actually how I want to drive my 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 development. So, all right, file. Okay, return on notes. Wait a second. Uh, menu file so it clicks on menu file and then file item open Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, so I was pretty stupid. Uh, yeah, I need to use the ID. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, sometimes it's like this. So now it should work. And uh, let's just try it out. Yeah, now you see. Uh, and this is actually open. Okay, because it fails and I expect it to fail and yeah now what should I do next I need to write this file chooser stuff and this is basically stuff so here uh, okay so now I need to work with the controller Okay, I have my controller, controller, controllers, controllers, my menu. And here it is. So this is the menu item. And basically, I need to put it to my initializer. I see a certain pro problem with this kind of approach. But let me just do it quickly and then refactor it later. So just produce an event. I'm wiring my event. Sys out. This out. Um, open file. Open XML file was pressed. And this is the the way by which I will get some sort of understanding that it happens. And sure, I think the best approach for this kind of part of case will be uh, just to. I don't know. I want to. I want. Don't want to pollute my class. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Eight hundred two lights. So, so definitely overboard. Uh, yeah. Okay. But you can read the code. The the, the best part of it. Uh, actually, the advantage. And basically, now I just need to go to my main view. And. Did I did I main menu controller? Did I say, okay? I save it and let's just quickly run it. Java application. Click file. Open XML. Haha. -ha. Open XML file was pressed. 
So now kind interesting stuff arrives. I want to have I want to I want to have the situation where I don't want to pollute my code of my controller because it's ca it gets it get blown away. So basically and I need to create this class. Because it is a separate object. And I think the best approach is to say following. Uh, I need to have this as uh, class. So let me just create another test, JUnit test. And this would do following new other JUnit test case. And here it will do following open file dialog test. Okay, so basically. I need, of course, to do some plumbing. Extends application test. Okay. Now I need my start. And in here, I just main view object main view. So, so this is actually helping stuff. But in my case, for this test case, I don't need to use this stuff, but I actually need to do following. It's only one class. So, yeah, it get crowded, and I see I don't like it, input grid pane, set each gap, set gap, okay, so, So I think about how I should approach this problem, this particular pro problem. Uh, do I need... I want to have it like... This file chooser. Uh, okay, so I decide for, for following. Uh, I don't need to test this in the separate view. No, I don't need... So let me just... Should I delete it? I am not sure. I am not sure. I am not sure. Uh, as the best way to do this. Okay. Now I get it. Now I get it. So no, I, I will use I, I will use my test case. No, this is 
definitely won't will happen. Open file dialog test. My test creates a form and I put a file chooser dynamically on this form and I don't actually need to do a lot of stuff for this. I need to load my fxml and let me just go through my example of, of the main view. Yeah, main view. Get main view scene. So basically, and I'm not actually sure that I need to do this to have this stuff in my production code. What kind of stuff uh, actually I'm asking myself about file chooser. So yeah, it's representation stuff, handling of event, uh, open button, new button, open picture. So yeah, I need actually. Okay, so I think I can do following. Yet, why I'm thinking about this too long? Um, because it's some sort of uh, always puzzling. What, how I proceed further? So I will use the form which I have previously created okay so now I have all of the stuff which I need to to draw my my view, and then I just need to make sure that this not null, and I can actually run it. Yeah. Okay. So after this. But the question is why I don't why I what I'm actually trying to achieve through this stuff. I'm actually thinking about um, can I split this component from the stuff which I have created here. The file chooser is a separate object. Basically, basically, let's just try other stuff. So, I'm not sure uh, that I need to do to have this application test, extends application test, because I don't need to test my 
I actually don't need this stuff. Let's just do it again. Okay. And what kind of things I need? I need create object from a file chooser class and use it. So, in, in order to be like that, I need to, where is my uh, before each, And basically, I do things like five things like this. Open file dialog. Open file dialog. You open file dialog. And this is an object. And this will actually happens not here, it will happens actually here. In file dialog. And here I just need to make sure that it is not now. Okay, this is a kind of ex discovery stuff. Uh, private. Open file dialog and open file dialog object. So now I need to create this class and source main. Where it happens? It happens in the not in the controllers. It happens actually. It, it's actually a view util. New other package. So I have my view controllers main menu, but this is actually view utils. And here I need to create this class. Okay, now I just need to import it and hope it will show me that. I can actually create this object. Okay, so now I have this class and the next stuff which I need to do with this kind of, let me just close it, not needed stuff. So I have this class open file dialog. It should give me a, a file chooser dialog. And this is the way how I want to proceed further. So let me just think about what kind of stuff I need to test. So.
So basically, I need to get my file chooser. Yeah, basically, I need to get my file chooser. And all of the stuff will happen later. So now I need to get my file chooser object. Mm, or let me just think about. So my main menu controller, it calls my class file dialog. The file dialog returns file chooser. It shows file file chooser to the user. User inputs the data and that's it. Okay. So the configuration. Sure, I need to provide file chooser. Final file chooser. Uh, okay. Does it final on my side? I'm not sure. I'm actually quite puzzled by the, by the thinking process. Let me just draw some simple picture. Maybe then I will understand the procedure. So this is my class. Oops. I have my class open file dialog. Open file dialog. It creates my file chooser and it give it back to the controller. And controller pass uh, pass this pass this object to the view. This is how I made I imagine that it should work. Maybe it not it can't work like way, but I think I I'm pretty sure that it work like this. Mm, and. The configuration of each window is I need to pass the title and I need to so I have three parameters. This is definitely the case. So I expect to get hold of a file chooser. If it makes any sense. So public void. So here I'm just testing. Check if file chooser created. And what kind of stuff I expect. Basically, assert not now, and and I need to call my open file. So I need to set up this stuff uh, string. What kind of parameters do I need to set up? So basically, it gets the title string. File choose a title which will be like I don't know. So the first file which I need to read is uh, services copy. 
qualified name then second parameter is the second parameter is is a get set initial directory ah okay so this is a stuff from where i will read my files basically location so default uh, default uh, default location of window location default location for folders folder okay so this is basically where when you create this window and it shows the contents of this folder which you have created where you have your window <laughs> it's kind of not it's not so complicated but it is complicated in the way of connection with all of the stuff okay and the, the next parameter is file chooser itself New, I hope it works. File chooser. Oh, okay. And and what I need to do? I need to call my open file dialog object. Uh, create new file chooser and it should consist of and I'm getting I am getting actually file choose a new file chooser new file chooser and I'm asserting that I have actually created this window let me just create this method And this method I need to copy. Okay, so I need just to copy this stuff. Let me just do it in the way. So I have my file chooser. And I will say here like input. Input file chooser, yeah. It's actually better and what it gets it gets title uh, set set title of file choose a title then it gets the location set initial directory and default location ah, okay so it need be like 
new file and and then I need uh, to make a return return input file chosen so open file dialog will consist of file chosen and now I can actually test my stuff Let me just do it. Uh, okay, so I can actually create it. The question is, can I display it? <laughs> this is another interesting stuff. Uh, to display, display file chooser. What I need to do in order to display it. Okay, so I have written uh, the class which creates me a file chooser from JavaFX. And I can, I did written a test for it. The test works pretty well because I get my file new, new, newly created file chooser back so I have actually uh, do the next test uh, and I need to go to my location of my controller 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 main view controller and say following Say following. I can uh, take this uh, step from here from my test and then just do it like that. String actually, I need to have it like three times but for the test I need to pass my test first I need to pass my test first uh, I don't need this stuff right now uh, actually where is my test here is my test so now I need to write my controller Main menu, main menu control. So I created this stuff, set file chooser, blah blah blah. Now I just need to create this open file dialog class, and let's just do me do it like that. So basically, private open. Open file dialog. Ah, okay. Wait, this, wait a second. Uh, it should be okay. I did. Uh, I did mistake with a. Uh, let me just quickly correct it. Maybe it break some code. But I don't think it. Yeah. Okay. Open file dialog. Open file dialog. Open file dialog object. Maybe it's not the best name, but 
I could you I can use it anyway. And here I say following create new file chooser. Input file chooser, which is a file chooser itself. File chooser. Let me just quickly. Okay, I added the stuff. Open file dialog object. Create new, and I need to do it like this. Ah, okay, so I don't. I know, I know where is my problem. Set a get em. Set a get -em for my open file dialog. Let me just quickly run all of my tests. Yeah, they are passing. Open the file dialog, file chooser. So now I, I just need to work with my controller. like here where I have my mistake so definitely the problem arise here I don't think clearly actually I don't think clearly because I think the problem is I not I don't need to have this new file chooser it should be in the in the method itself so let me just quickly ch fix it like like this follow like like following Now it is uh, some somehow problem, but not anymore. Why it say it's a problem? Ah, uh, basically, okay. I just need to delete this comma. Now, okay. Now it's now it's okay. So. And now I can pass my test. Alright, so where is next mistake? Okay, so it does not... It thinks... I broke my test, huh? okay, fine. 
fine by me. So, file chooser, it is an attribute of my method. Definitely. Yeah, see, I, I took some time, time uh, much time, but it is not quite obvious. Uh, but now it should pro basically work. I'm not sure why it does, doesn't. Let me just quickly delete it. I think it is broken, br breaks away. Now I just need to delete my warnings. So this should click save all. Yeah, it passed. Uh, so now for my main menu, I don't need this. And basically, basically, uh, open file dialog getter and setter I have created. Input file chooser. Let's just uh, let's just uh, quickly look at mistakes. Do I have some mistakes in my main controller class? Create new file chooser. File chooser title. Yeah, it it says so the, the value of the local input is not used. Not sure what what they mean. Let's just quickly uh, run my test and see what happens. Okay, I have blockage mm, null. Null pointer exception. Maybe I need to bound. Maybe I need to bound. Let me think. Let me pause and think. Okay, so I feel figure it out. Um, finally, I can test it. But the problem was I didn't bound my main menu bar. But now it's bound. And get and setter was created. And now I can actually get an access to the stage. I used uh, I use this actually need to be added. I use this kind of yep. Um, I use this. Um, Yeah, I use this uh, code, and now let's just test it out. So let me just go to my test and go to my test. Mm, open this. Think. So this is my test, and I need to run my test. Oh, oh, it does not work. Yep. Okay, so finally I managed. I managed. Yeah. It was not. It was some sort of bit tricky. So. The file chooser must be initialized, and it goes like this. 
here is the situation I have my I have my uh, input file chooser here uh, I create new file chooser through another class which is open file dialog and I put all needed stuff like services XML title and the, the default location where the window must be opened and get input file chooser it basically I'm getting the access to my main stage and I open the window let me just save it and now I can actually run my test where it is uh, uh, open file dialog so my test file chooser open files from many many tests so this is my test case and then just quickly run it and this is what I get oh null pointer exception it happened uh, let me just quickly look it up why why it happened so so basically it works but it has some quirks and let me just try to work it out yeah it's kind of kind of ugly stuff uh, open xml and this window which I open you see I added this filter it shows me only XML let me just uh, let me just go quickly to so basically it says it says uh, let me just do this sign maybe this would work yeah and this is a problem of my I need to I need to pick some sort of let me just try it out Okay, let's me just think about. So, the problem is in my test. I don't know how I put it right. Okay, after some sort of a research and consideration, so file choosing JavaFX actually a one big problem. Why? Because due to requirements for the Apple Store. It actually demands uh, that your file chooser is a native window from the, your operating system. So it means, in my case, when I open a window using this class, it actually instantiate a window from the operating system. And my answer to this, like following, uh, in my case, I do not wish. To work with a native window I want to be truly independent and that means I need to create my own file chooser yeah some people suggest another kind of stuff to use a Mokita but it rather some sort of a cheating you don't test uh, stuff with Mokita you use foreign objects and this is not my way so I create my own JavaFX file chooser native JavaFX file chooser so stay tuned it will be interesting